Hey everyone, Al here. Welcome to 2023. Uh, my first video of the year. There'll be a few more coming out after this uh, within a few weeks. But uh, for the first one, I just decided to do an ammo test. Um, I had all this different ammo hanging around for years and I was curious to see um, what the advertised velocity was based on the real velocity. So I set up a Caldwell chronograph about eight feet from the muzzle of the gun, about 66 degrees Fahrenheit. What I use for a test gun is my, um, well, one of my newer uh, steel challenge guns that I developed. It's got the same 16 inch barrel you've seen in my other videos, Tactical Solutions. Great barrel, by the way. Uh, the stock is something I just customized from a Ruger uh, 1022 stock. We will talk about that in a later video. Um, the way the test was done was I fired five shots for each brand of ammo and then I did three following shots with the next ammo in between to more or less season the bore with the uh, lubricant on the bullets that were going to be tested next. Uh, anytime I reference accuracy, it's based on 50 yards. I didn't mention that in the, uh, the video of the ammo results, but it is uh, 50 yards. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's get right into this. Um, this is the chart that I used to, um, to record everything on. I'll explain it. So right at the top is the, uh, the brand CCI Mini Mag in this case. The uh, manufacturer's advertised velocity. And these are the uh, five shots that I took for recording. And their average feet per second per those five shots. And then the exact, the uh, extreme spread of uh, in this case 102 feet per second from the lowest shot to the highest so the first one is the cci mini mag i'm sure everybody is um, accustomed to this stuff uh, what i did is i ran it twice because i wasn't happy with the results from the first one so you can see it's advertised at 1235 feet per second i got 1203 with a spread of 102 feet per second um, so some notes here. It's the first time trying it. Only fired 75 rounds so far. And I did think actual velocity would be higher or at least close to the advertised. But once again, these are from a 16 inch barrel. So maybe an 18 and a half, it would have been faster. So, um, the second time, uh, the velocity was a little bit lower, but the spread was better. 59 feet per second. And maybe the spread wouldn't have been as bad if I ran 10 shots and threw out the high and the low. Um, so like it says here, um, I never shot mini mag. I never needed to. I always shot standard velocity. But this past year, I found out that everybody shooting in competition is shooting mini mag. So um, I switched to mini mag. What I didn't like is the fact that uh, not only is it copper plated, but it seems to have a heavier wax than uh, some of the other bullets. And there's at least a couple of people that I talked to this year that are actually stripping the wax off. And I don't know how they're doing it, uh, what solvent they're using, but they strip the wax off. And then they spray it with a lubricant. The entire cartridge, the bullet, and everything, and they run them that way. I have not done that because I haven't had any problems with this ammo. Uh, so until I can prove that I have problems, I'm just going to shoot it the way it comes out of the box. Very reliable. Uh, no misfires with any CCI product, but again, I haven't shot that much. Um, since making this chart, I did shoot uh, two matches with it, and I've got about 400 rounds through it, and I have not had any malfunctions or misfires. The next one is Winchester Super X 40 grain round nose plated. This is what the box looks like. I've had this for quite a while. Uh, I don't think you can get that anymore, but I wanted to try it. And you see the plus one on the box? What I did is I sorted some of this by case thickness, or rim thickness, I should say. And uh, whether or not it made a difference, but as you can see here, um, I did not know the advertised feet per second, but I was getting 1,226. But the spread was really good. It was only 23 feet per second. So again, I don't know if that's because of the uh, rim thickness or just because it's good ammo. Um, 
again, it's been sitting around for years. I just thought I'd throw it in this test. So I can't, uh, I can't vouch for its reliability. Next is a very popular ammo is the Aguila 40 grain super extra high velocity. Uh, it's advertised at 1,255 feet per second. I got 1,197 with a spread of 56 feet per second. And uh, as my notes say here, it shoots good. No misfires in a few thousand rounds. Yeah, and it smells funny. Uh, I guess you can get used to that smell, but uh, it does smell different than anything else. It's good ammo. Uh, no complaints with it. All right, let me bring up the next batch. Get these out of the way here. And the next group will start with, let me get this centered here, is a Federal Auto Match. So this is the Federal Auto Match. And um, I shoot it because it's cheap. It's good practice ammo. It has a ton of misfires. When I say a ton in a box of 325, you can probably expect at least five. Some of them go off on the second hit, some of them don't. Uh, it does work with the reduced power hammer spring and the standard spring. I said here lots of misfires with that, but it, it, it happens with both. Uh, it's cheap. I get it at Walmart for 21 bucks a box right now. So, uh, but that's what I'm going with, but I would never use it in a match just because it's unreliable. Move that out of the way a little. And next is the Blazer 38 grain. I didn't bring up the big box because it's just too big, but this is what the label in the box looks like. It's 38 grain, advertised at 1,235 feet per second. I'm getting 1,204. The spread is good. It's 45 feet per second. Uh, no misfires in thousands of rounds. I, I fired uh, well, at least 2,000 rounds of this stuff and I've never had a misfire. The overall length is a little bit short, uh, which in some magazines or some guns can cause uh, feeding issues because it is short and it nose dives into the, uh, the breech face before it'll get into the chamber. But uh, good ammo, all CCI, as far as I'm concerned, has uh, great reliability and uh, hardly any misfires. This ammo here is, um, this is from the, uh, the, the CMP. And it's Olin, which is Winchester, standard velocity, 40 grain, round nose. Um, the guy I bought this from, I bought five bricks of it. And he said he picked it up in around the mid-90s. I'm getting 1,148 feet per second with a great spread, 24 feet per second. It's really consistent. I fired uh, 2,000 rounds in competition with this and never had a single misfire or feeding issue. Uh, I wish I could get 20,000 rounds of it, but uh, I can't. And I got it for cheap money. I paid 20 bucks a brick, actually 25, about uh, two and a half years ago. But I like that. It's good stuff. Uh, next is this Federal uh, Value Pack. And uh, this is bulk ammo, 525 rounds. Let me see if you can see that. Uh, advertised at 1,260 feet per second. I get 1,285. Um which is a little bit higher than advertised, which is unusual. And I say here, it's not bad. Um, I've had one or two misfires in a box. And for a while, when ammo was tough to find, I was using this in my competitions, my steel challenge shoots. And I never had a failure in the shoots. Um, probably had, I don't know, maybe 500 rounds in the matches without any issues, but I have had uh, some problems during uh, practice. Okay, let me get these out of the way here. And next up we have Okay, we're going to start with Blazer 40 grain lead. Again, CCI product, advertised at 1235 feet per second. I got 1,212, uh, 54 feet per second spread. Uh, so it is faster than mini mag uh, with the same advertised velocity. Not much faster, but it is faster. And I found it more accurate than mini mag. 
Uh, there's less wax on it, so you shouldn't get a lot of waxy buildup in your breech face and chamber. Um, I probably shot um, more than 2,000 rounds of this stuff without any issues at all. It shoots absolutely great. Uh, no misfires. Uh, just before we had this last ammo shortage, um, it was going for $17.99 a, a case, excuse me, a brick at Target Sports. And uh, I hadn't done enough competition testing with it to buy it. I didn't want to buy 5,000 rounds and have it turn out to be junk. But after going through a couple of thousand rounds, I went to buy some and the price had jumped to uh, like $22 a brick. And I said, oh, maybe that's just for a week or two. It'll come down. The next week it was over 25. So I never ended up buying it. But uh, if I ever see it again at cheap money, I'm going to get it. As far as I'm concerned, um, this is my second preferred ammo uh, in the whole test here and the first in the high velocity range. Uh, it's just flawless as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Remington Thunderbolt. I haven't shot a lot of this stuff. I got it at Bass Pro when I couldn't get anything else. It was, uh, I think it was 25 bucks for the box. So I have no um, feedback as far as reliability goes. But you can see here, advertised at 1255, it's shooting at 1240. Only had a spread of 23 feet per second. Uh, and as it says here, uh, only bought it a few years ago when nothing else was around. Only time shooting it, but it looks okay. And I would shoot this for practice, but again, not in a match. And we have the old Remington standard of this uh, uh, Golden Bullet. The Golden Bullet is advertised at 1280. It was shooting at 1215. I got a spread uh, of 70 feet per second works like I said I only shot about a thousand rounds I had a few bricks of this few misfires but it's still it's good practice ammo and it's a 36 grain plated hollow point point. and next is the Aguila standard velocity this is advertised at 1130 I was getting a, a 1090 54 feet per second spread Shoots good, no misfires in a thousand rounds, also smells funny. So I was shooting, I shot two bricks of this in competition. And again, have not had uh, any misfires with it and uh, shot extremely well. Uh, group's good, I have no complaints about that. And when the price comes down on that, uh, I'll get some of that too. I've been seeing some places still price gouging on this. They're getting over $100 a brick which I think is ridiculous. It's going to rot on their shelves because it's uh, it's out there cheaper. All right, let me move this out. And a few of the last ones here. Let me chart centered. Okay, uh, CCI standard velocity, 40 grain. Advertised 1070. I got uh, 1048, spread of 40. So I have a note here, it says the most accurate of all at 50 yards. Uh, 0.4 inch groups all day from my Savage Mark II. Uh, it's a heavy barrel gun. I had some as low as uh, just over a quarter of an inch. And that's a bolt action with a 16 power scope. Uh, at least an 18 and a half inch barrel. I don't think it's 20. But uh, in standard velocity, this seems to be the ammo to use. Uh, I really like this stuff. I shot this uh, in Steel Challenge, probably 2,000 rounds worth. Um, never, ever, ever had a problem. No misfires. Uh, anything. Again, it's a CCI product. It's good stuff. I found this next ammo. This is, CC, uh, excuse me, Ely Sport. Um, I Ely comes up with a bunch of stuff that, you know, maybe Sport was once called Club, um, but they rename the same ammo uh, year after year for some reason. Not everything, but a lot of it. So I don't know the velocity here, but it, it uh, came out in my chrono at uh, 1,051 with a spread of 55. So I bought two bricks at a gun show probably five or more years ago, maybe even more. Um, 
I only shot about 400 rounds through it, both through the, uh, the Ruger 1022 and the bolt action gun and never had any misfires. And I shot this in my uh, Savage bolt action. I shot this against Ely 10X, uh, RWS rifle match, uh, the more expensive ammos, the CCI standard velocity. I, I brought out about six of the higher end ammos and I was real happy to find out that the, the CCI shot the best because it was the lowest priced. And that's always the way you want to go. Um, but the Ely shot okay, but it still got beaten by the, uh, the CCI. And then because I had some laying around, I have this uh, Aguila Super Calibri, which are CB caps in English. Uh, I don't know the velocity uh, advertised, but it comes out at 433 feet per second with a spread of 83 feet per second. I bought two bricks for my kids to shoot. No noise, good on squirrels, won't bother the neighbors. I've shot uh, a lot of things around the house with this and uh, varmints, critters. And uh, it works, it's, uh, it's good stuff. It's full length, so it will feed um, manually operated through a semi-auto. So that's what I have for now. I hope this was informative. And um, if there's anything uh, you want to talk about on each one of these or any one of these, just put it in the comments. And uh, as you know, I will answer. And uh, keep tuned. Uh, like I said, I have two more videos coming out about the two guns that I just built. And I, I have a few other things coming out as well. So stay tuned and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.